when historical injustices are addressed, and genuinely so, reconciliation takes center stage and healing is inevitable. It is only then we realize that the answer to nationhood lies not in revenge or tribal animosity, but in justice being our shield and defender. Our wealth, ladies and gentlemen, as a nation, will then be found within us, within our reach, and within the ability, or our ability, to tolerate each other and to work together towards a common destiny. If we cultivate unity and peace and allow for individual liberties, then ladies and gentlemen, I assure you that plenty is guaranteed within our borders. The true doctrine of democracy dictates that governments are not formed of some people, by some people, for some people but rather by the people, for the people, for, by the people, of the people, and for the people. The people of the Republic of Kenya, that is who the people are. This is the core belief of the National Alliance. I would like to reiterate at this stage something that was posted on our Facebook page by Jacob Obolo, who believes and he states, in one nation, one destiny, peace and prosperity for everyone, this will not be in vain under the National Alliance. <laughs> Luzinga James, again, in another posting on Facebook, says that he believes a visionary leadership that will consolidate funds to the local Monainchi under an affordable repayment rate and this is well within our reach as a focused people. We believe the youth can have greater involvement in decision making. It is in the beliefs of all Kenyans that the National Alliance hopes to lay a strong foundation for today and the future. Fellow Kenyans, a nation without hope and belief is on the verge of stagnation and retrogression. We must keep believing. We must press on with unparalleled hope. We must keep very vigilance. We must never lose focus of our ultimate destination as a nation. What do you believe in? Ladies and gentlemen, I believe in a Kenya and as a constant reminder of my love and commitment to our beloved country, I wear my own wristband here. A wristband that has our nation flag and colors at all times. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that if we put our minds to it, we can change this country forever. I believe we have the burden and privilege of carrying the country into the future. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that we as a nation are destined for greatness. I believe we can overcome tribalism, poverty, corruption, disease, ignorance, and all other ills that bedevil this country. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that united as a people, nothing is impossible. I, ladies and gentlemen, do believe. Ladies and gentlemen, let us never forget that there is no nation that doesn't have a history. But the time has come for us to learn from history and not to wallow and live in the past. For the longest time, the youth of this country have been told to look up to the elders. But now a time has come for the elders to turn to the youth and to say, it is on you to take this country forward. <laughs> the answers, ladies and gentlemen, for a better tomorrow, lie in you and me. This party 
and you, this party is you, and you are the party. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you and to say, let us put the past now behind us. Let us move forward on the wings of transformational change. I do believe this is possible. I do believe together we can. Ndiyo pamoja tunaweza. Mungu aibariki chama chetu kipya. Atupatie sisi zote hekima. Atupatie umoja kama taifa. Atuongoze kwa yote yale ambaye tunayatenda. Atusaidie tuweze kutembea kila kona ya taifa hili pamoja na vijana wetu wakiongoza sio wakifuata wakiongoza sio wakifuata na mimi sina shaka tukitimiza haya ni mengi makuu ambayo tutaweza kuyatendea taifa letu na vizazi vijavyo kwa hayo machache wenzangu na washukuru nyote kwa kufika na nasema Mungu na ibariki taifa letu la Kenya. Asante sana. Thank you.